this video is about something that I like to um, share with you guys um, uh, for quite a while, and uh, it's the Sandmark uh, lenses for your iPhone. <laughs> my latest video and uh, yes I'm not in London this is a very beautiful place called Galicia in Spain it's a very small city but it's a very beautiful city uh, it's blessed with gorgeous sunshine just like now and also yeah we have the very very clean and blue sea this is just super amazing uh well you might wonder what i'm doing here I, i'm here doing my project so it's not a holiday at all uh i do enjoy the sun though uh it's not super hot like london and uh, this is really nice especially the sea breeze is really just gentle here and uh yeah i just love it anyway so what's this video about this video is about something that i like to um, share with you guys um uh, for quite a while and uh, it's the sandmark uh, lenses for your iPhones or smartphones. Well, they uh, you've probably seen some of my re reviews already, and uh, I've done the premium wide lens and then the cinema filter kits and also the latest anamorphic lenses. Um, so they, they are super cool stuff, and I can easily say that Sandmark is actually the uh, second company after the moment they are really pushing uh, this kind of uh, smartphone photography and uh, videography. Just you know, they are really pushing it, so they have the rig and everything as well. Um, yeah, I can see these two companies are kind of like they are the main competitors to each other and in terms of really pushing for that, that sector there. Um, but I'm super happy to work with uh, a Sama for a long time now and uh, you've seen the original reviews. And um, now they sent me the rest of the lenses that I want to talk to you guys about because I, I think they're worth mentioning, especially if you're an iPhone user. Okay, right here I am. I have all these lenses here. Uh, I actually brought almost everything with me. Uh, apart from the filter kits, um, I didn't bring because I'm taking way too much because this is actually not supposed to be a review video or trip and uh, yeah, I'm actually working on a project at the moment, filming an artist. Uh, this is going to be a long haul project so yeah, you're going to have to stay tuned uh, for that. And uh, it's just makes, super exciting though, I have to tell you. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So, right, what are the, uh, these lenses though? First of all is this and uh can't quite tell what it is but um there you go these are the uh these are the um the macro lens for your smartphone super dope because uh you can actually go so close to something i'm going to demonstrate in a minute and uh, this is actually pretty pretty cool I, I do like this lens uh but like any other companies out there now bitplay uh moment and they all do their own version of macro lens and uh, i do like uh, them i have to say you know zeiss were you know the first company who really made some premium optics for your smartphones and uh, but as you know zeiss has already stopped or discontinued the product line so you can no longer get them and uh, which is a, a sad thing because i think it's actually pretty cool so there you go this is the original ultra wide uh premium lens uh which i already reviewed you haven't seen the review the link is up there uh this is really good especially uh on the latest smartphones you can actually see how sharp it is and uh, so this is pretty good so i'm not gonna demonstrate this one now or, or, or maybe i would do a comparison shot but these are the lenses i would like to show you guys because they are super cool right first of all though is this this guy here and uh, this is the fisheye well you may actually remember uh, i i actually uh, did a review or talked about a lens that, that my one of my friends from hong kong uh, actually made the turtle back fisheye lens um so this is 
almost the same as that, you know, um, the, but now obviously it's made by a bigger company, uh, but this is actually as good as that lens, so it's super sharp, edge to edge. Uh, of course, because being a fisheye, it's not a full circular fisheye, so you don't get this big round circle thing, but you will get distortions, you get some really fun, cool shots, and then, yeah, when you mount it, because it, the, all these sand mount lenses has a clip, so that means you can use it front or back, or basically any phone, so you can just clip it on. Uh, when you mount it the front, the amount of details and the amount of things you can squeeze into the frame, the front lens is just ridiculous. And uh, yeah, you can actually hold it, bend your arm, you can still see everything. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So the next one is, uh, I want to show you guys, is uh, the tele lens. So the tele lens basically is a two-time converter to your smartphone lens. So that means that if you mount it on the current iPhone, the XS Max at the moment, uh, the uh, the standard lens or the wide-angle lens is the 28 millimeters. That means when you dub, uh, put this on, it's doubling it to 56 millimeter equivalent. And the tele lens on the iPhone Max, uh, iPhone XS Max, the 50, 50 mil or 56 mil, will be doubling that. It will be 112 or 100 mils. Uh, I actually can't remember the exact focal length equivalent. Um, but yes, so this is actually cool because this is the first premium tele lens that I tested without any edge softness. Uh, this is actually pretty good. So it's very usable, very cool, um, but you have to be very careful uh, when you're using this in conjunction with the uh, the tele lens on your iPhone because uh, it will become 100 and some, 110 millimeters equivalent and uh, the stabilization isn't strong enough to compensate. So uh, you will see a lot of shakes, so you make sure that you're shooting in bright daylight, otherwise you're going to have some blurry shots. Um, but if you use it on the uh, on the wide lens uh, on the iPhone and uh, you will actually get a very nice portrait uh, uh, focal length and also utilizing the, bri uh, the bright aperture that's on the wider lens as well which is actually always a bonus. Um, There's no point using this on the front lens <laughs> because front's already quite tight on the iPhone so uh, but this is pretty pretty cool. I do I do enjoy that. The build quality of these lenses are as usual, stand mark standard. They are all metal uh, built. Uh, the glass elements are super nice and they have some very lovely uh, anti-reflective coating. So it's, it's really, really awesome. Okay, this is gonna be a very quick comparison, uh, but it's gonna be interesting because I will be comparing to my hefty M1X. Um, I'll set it to basically similar focal length of 100 millimeters uh, equivalent and I'm gonna shoot a photo of the boat in front of me and then we're gonna use that as a center point so we can just check out the quality from these lenses here and you can also see the different field of view and then uh, to judge by yourself so here we go we're gonna have the first photo this is from the Olympus this is 100 mil basically and uh, equivalent so that you go right I'm going to put it down Okay, now, there we go. Right, I actually shot it in horizontal format, so I have to shoot it with, yeah, landscape mode, not portrait mode. Okay, let's see. Stunning, 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 stunning. That is pretty cool. So now we have two shots side by side. You can see exactly what they look like, judge it by yourself. I think it's actually very, very sharp. And uh, it is really amazing how good this tele lens is and uh, just amazing like i mentioned you know and uh, if you just uh, see how shaky it, the whole thing is you know and uh, without any what well, with stabilization that is you know and uh, this focal length mounted on the tele lens you do need very bright lights to minimize any sort of motion blur um, the, so, or camera shakes and so just be careful of that so now uh, let me do a quick comparison to other lenses and uh, and uh, like the fisheye and also the ultra wide that I told you about. So uh, this is going to be interesting because now let's do it with a standard shot. So this is a standard uh, tele on the iPhone XS Max. So this is it. So basically this is 50 mil. Uh, now I'm going to put, what should I do next? So I'm going to do the, uh, do the ultra wide first. The ultra wide is going to be funny because it's just going to look so wide and then you probably can't even see the boat. It will be tiny, like a dot. And uh, right, I'm going to mount it onto the, uh, the wide lens and there we go. Okay, 
Whoa, look at that. That is awesome. Jeez, just gorgeous weather today, isn't it? It's so blue. I'm telling you. And uh, right, so that is the shot. Judge it by yourself again. Very nice. And these are rectilinear lenses, so there's no distortion whatsoever. Very sharp, very straight lines. Everything's good. And now, finally, I'm going to compare this with fish islands. <laughs> It'll be even crazier with this one, so uh, let's try this. All right, I'm going to mount these things on and do a shot of the. Uh, the fish islands. Well, one thing I have to mention to you guys though is that um, compared to Moment and uh, these guys using screw mounts in instead of a proprietary uh, bayonet mount, so unlike Moment, so uh, yeah, it sometimes can be a little bit fiddly to put on because you have to screw the whole thing. But there you go, like this is the comparison to the fish eye. As you can see, that you can even see my bag which you can see from the other lenses uh, just because the the uh, angle of view of this thing is just crazy but it's, it's pretty cool pretty cool and again it's ultra sharp this thing is really really ultra sharp uh, i love it i love it and if you mount it to the front and do a selfie you probably will see with this particular camera i'm gonna just switch it over so you can see and then uh, right front all uh, right okay there you go ah uh, i can see myself in this thing that's cool that's cool right got it brilliant so you can see this is actually great for selfie uh, especially if you've got a group of friends with you and uh, this is really really good so as you can see the image quality is excellent right so this thing is just basically slot in as simple as that now you have yourself a super cool macro lens and uh, yeah i'm gonna do some demonstration with the stone worktop underneath here and there's not worktop a uh, parapet no a whatever you know you'll see what i mean right we have to put the thing down here because you need to see how close this thing actually can get as you can see that this is the macro lens fitment so this transparent hood the purpose is to allow light to go past underneath you can see that and so you can actually see the details because uh, otherwise you know you the eye at the camera will have to push the iso so high that it will become grainy and you're starting to lose detail and you know as you, as you know macro photography is all about details right okay let's try some macro photography shall we let's try this uh, first of all i'm gonna have to find something that is worth looking at maybe something like this the pattern looks cool i'm gonna try try something like this i think this is actually pretty good amazing so the the transparent sleeve does help very very well okay now i'm gonna take a shot of this so like basically you can also use this to adjust the distance as well and uh, so you don't poke it too close because uh, there is a minimum focusing distance although that minimum focusing distance is actually very very close and uh, almost like touching distance but you can't really touch with the front of the lens because it's uh yeah it's not gonna be very very nice so let's try something else i'm not trying not to oh look at that trying to block it with my own shadow i'm gonna try to go this close so you can see just how good this is this is pretty amazing if you're into uh macro lenses well, that's it, folks. And uh, I just hope, you know, I can show you guys what these lenses are and how great I think they are. And uh, yeah, w without a doubt, I, I think uh, in, in today's uh, premium smartphone optics or filmmaking photography sector, uh, there are only a handful of companies I think is actually worth mentioning. And especially the effort they're trying to put in to this area, like uh, making filmmaking and also photography easier, uh, are Moment and also um, uh, Sandmarks. And uh, these are the two companies. There are other companies who generate or design some really, really superb lenses and things like that, which I think uh, they're, they're great. Don't get me wrong, they're really cool because I'm going to review another set of lenses 
chances very very soon and uh, but it just overall I think that in terms of the supporting accessories like filters um, uh, other uh, like uh, lenses like anamorphic which is a very specialized lens um, and also like rigs uh, other things you know just to make your life as a creative a lot easier if you want to shoot with your smartphone and um, so yeah these are the two companies I think really really worth managing and Sam uh, are brilliant I mean I love the optics and uh, so far I I cannot fault them you know that's how good I think they are um, so what do I think of them simply recommend it if you are in in the market looking for uh, uh, something that is really good quality pro uh, providing superb image quality uh, nice built uh, look no further if you've got an iPhone uh, however if you're using Samsung's or any, any other smartphone you just have to check in the website I wish I'm gonna put the link down in the description about compatibility um, I'm not entirely sure whether they do cases for other Samsung phones and things like that so yeah but like I mentioned uh, in my previous re reviews and uh, that they do supply you with clips. What the good thing about clips is you can mount it on anything so long that you know the length of the clip is sufficient to cover the where the, wherever the lens is on your phone. So uh, you just have to check, maybe check, send an email to them, see whether it works or compatible. Uh, they are the whole bunch of lovely guys that they will be able to answer you. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular video and uh, yeah I'm super happy to bring this over here take some shots I meant to review this uh, probably over a month ago but I just haven't got time as you probably know that I have recently been an, an, an appointed as the uh, Olympus ambassador so things got a little bit hectic at the moment so I'm planning some new workshops with Olympus and also uh, uh, this project that I'm filming at the moment uh, all kinds of stuff and especially when you're dad you know how dad goes and uh, with family and things like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time if you want to see more um uh, content yeah don't forget yeah to, to put on the bell notification so you know when our new video is coming out until next time though uh i'm gonna have to go back and start filming other stuff now <laughs> so uh i'll see you guys later and yeah enjoy shooting and be happy Bye for now. Whew.